Hello friends and welcome you all back to the channel. Happy to see you all once again in another Clash of Titans video. I am your host Ragnar Saronix and today's video is going to be the long awaited video and I know many of you have cursed me for making this long to make this video. I sincerely apologize for making uh, you all waiting. Finally I thought of making this video even though I didn't know that much uh, about him. So uh, without further waiting let's get right into the video. When Yarn uses his S1 or S2, he gains one stack of energy, which is shown below his HP bar. After getting two stacks, his next normal attack is an enhanced one which triggers additional effects based on the last skill used. So when you use your S1 to gain the second stack, the normal attack in an area is a area damage and knock up. And if you use the second ability to get the second stack then it you will uh, rush to the enemy and uh, I will explain in detail about this passive when I explain the skill 1 and skill 2 okay guys so when hitting the enemy with the enhanced normal attack his uh, attack speed is increased for 4 seconds and his HP will restore by 6 percentage of his max HP so these effects are halved against non titan targets his S1 deals damage to all the enemies in the area which is in an arc shaped area. So if it will uh, also reduces the enemy's movement speed by 30%. It gives him one stack of his passive. Now when you get the second stack using his S1 then with the next normal attack he will charge and smash the area in front of him dealing damage to the enemies and knocking them up. And this enhanced damage will be 100% uh, more for minions and wildlings. Yan moves in a targeted direction in an arc shape, dealing damage to the enemies along the path. Also, during this time, he is untargetable. S2 corresponding passive enhanced normal attack, uh, he dashes towards the enemy, dealing damage and triggers the S2 again for a short time. This additional S2 won't give you passive stacks. If you don't uh, use the triggered S2, then the S2 goes to normal cooldown. Now, Yarn's ultimate. So, before explaining in detail, I need to tell you something, guys. So, Yarn's ultimate is quite uh, unique and hard to explain, but I will try my best to make you understand. Now, for all the titans, the ultimate have three levels, right? Each time you upgrade, it will increase your damage of the titan's ultimate. Uh, it is normally like that, right? But for Yarns, each ultimate level unlocks, there will be a unique buff given to him. I will share it with you in detail. Before that, I will tell you uh, what his ultimate will do. So when you use his ultimate, Yarn removes his seal and he charges and after one second, uh, he deals damage to the nearby enemies in a round area. Also, he unlocks the second stage of his ultimate. Uh, then he becomes enhanced for 8 seconds. When using Yarn's ultimate second form, Yarn dashes forward dealing damage to all the enemies in a large area in front of him and knocks them up. If you got stunned or silenced uh, and got this second form cancelled, it will enter a 2 second cooldown. Now coming to the unique effects part, at each level his ultimate will inherit the effects that are unlocked in the previous levels of his ultimate. Now at level 1 he will gain 20% physical damage penetration and increases the damage output of his S1 and S2 by 50%. Also he can use the second form of his ultimate only once. Now. For the second level of his ultimate, so it extends the duration of his uh, enhanced state which is the 8 seconds when his passive enhanced normal attack hits the enemies. Normally it extends the duration by 2.5 seconds when you hit a titan and 1 second for the hit on the minions and uh, in the wildings. So level 2 also allows him to use his ultimate uh, multiple times at the second stage of, of the skill. 
so when he is enhanced you can use the second stage of his ultimate again and again with an 8 seconds cooldown so the cooldown reduction effects doesn't work on the second form at level 3 during the time of his ultimate's enhanced mode the enhanced normal attacks of his passive also gives one stack of his passive at third level of his ultimate he will inherit all the previous uh, effects he he gained so like uh, he will gain the 20 percent armor penetration and 50 percent damage to his s1 and s2 from the first one and the second one which gives him uh, the duration extend while his enhanced normal attacks hits the enemy and for the third one which gives the enhanced normal attack if hits the enemy also gives a stack of his passive now friends let us look at his build enchantment and arcana this is the first build i would like to share with you friends so this is a pure cooldown build which gives you like 35 percentage cooldown at the late games the best thing about this build is you can infinitely use your uh, ultimate second form like as i said before uh, he will inherit all his effects in the third level of his ultimate right so with the perfect cooldown he can spam his s1 and s2 infinitely and also he can extend the duration of his ultimate uh, infinitely so you it will like uh, increases his uh, ultimate duration by 2.5 seconds each time you hit an enemy and you can use your uh, use the second form uh, within 8 seconds right so it also gives you like infinite chances and uh, this build is a literally OP build. The only thing you will suffer is that you will uh, get out of mana real quickly because his abilities uh, will consume a lot of mana and if you have a blue buff then no problem you can go uh, as much as uh, time possible. You can uh, infinitely spam your abilities if only you have the blue buff and the equipments that gives you extra mana like uh, uh, ages don't work because uh, it will gives you like uh, 400 max mana but uh, it won't be enough for him and but uh, normally guys in the late games uh, the enemies will die if he goes with the combos like this so if he continuously spam his abilities then the enemy don't have a chance of surviving the next build I will recommend you is uh, just change the long spear of longinus to soul detainer if you encounter an enemy with a lifesteal uh, passive or uh, ability so like tara lubu and other uh, titans you can go for soul detainer and also a uh, critical uh, build also works on him so you can go for clave sancti uh, by selling any one of the items and uh, you will deal a lot of damage so uh, you know the first ability is enhanced normal attack is a jump right so if you jump and hit the target uh, it will deal a lot of damage so if that crits it will deal around like uh, so much of damage once i got a 4k crit on that i mean on that first ability enhanced normal attack uh, once so you can also try it out so when you play him in jungle you can buy the jungle item and then uh, change the murmasa to spear of longiness and i didn't uh, change it now so you can go for soul reaver or leviathan so if the enemy team uh, has like so much of burst damage heroes you can go for leviathan to get a sust uh, get a little sustain and uh, if you want to one shot the enemies you can go for uh, soul reaver but both of the uh, builds are uh, so much useful for you so like even though he is built tanky he can deal a lot of damage only in the late games also i didn't ride him with uh, tanky builds uh, i think it is also good uh, so when you play like uh, with him i mean play with him as a tank it is also viable i think so but uh, I should try so if I try that uh, I will make a video on it so don't worry guys so this is the common attack damage arcana used for him so 10 berserker 10 assassin and 10 dracoon which will give you 45 normal attack and 100 penetration and 10% uh, movement speed and if you like to build him with uh, critical chance and critical damage you can go for this build which will increases his critical damage so also you can go for uh, blitz which will give you increased critical chance 
and this is the enchantment used for him commonly so at 3 stacks it will gives you an additional damage which is magic this enchantment helps him to deal uh, quite additional damage for the enemies and now this enchantment also can be used when you use your ultimate uh, the cooldown of the other two abilities will reduce by 30 percentage so it will also comes in handy when you use your ultimate and uh, quickly finish off the enemies now coming to the combo tips and tricks part. The most common combo, use your S2 to close the gap between the enemies and use your S1 after that and use your enhanced normal attack. After that use your ultimate and during that time the cooldown of your S1 and S2 will be back. So you can use it uh, again and after that you can use your ultimate second form. After this completion of the combo, uh, any squishy heroes will be dead. After that you can come out of the fight using your S2. So normally if you dive into the tower uh, to kill an enemy, you should uh, make sure to use your S2 to your advantage at its best. Because as I said before, uh, you can use your S2 to dodge uh, the greatest abilities like you also can dodge the tower shots so this ability is pretty good uh, similar to murad's second ability so it will gives you like uh, untarget ability for one second but here uh, it will gives you like for uh, three to i mean 0 0.5 seconds i think so so i think i have explained it before in the video so coming to the other combos so if you fight in uh, i mean if you are going to jump inside a team fight uh, if you have one stack then you will get the second ability stack uh, while you jump right so you can change it uh, by using the second ability uh, simultaneously when you jump on with the s1 s2 and you can get the passive of the s1 stack uh, okay guys uh, i didn't understand it either so i will explain you uh, clearly so normally you can use your uh, abilities before using your enhanced normal attack you can use your abilities s1 and s2 to change the effect of the next normal attack also friends there are uh, so much of uh, combos for him so if you play him continuously you can uh, i will I assure you that you will find uh, so many new combos for him I think I have explained everything I know about him guys so uh, it uh, took a little long time than expected and sorry for that I have asked, asked you before so like uh, that's all for today's video so hope you find this video helpful so if you find this video entertaining and helpful don't forget to hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe the channel too and don't miss out the future contents. Also share it with your friends who need this video a lot. So see you all in the next video until then bye bye and have a great day friends. We'll be driving our state, yeah. Look around for the next crowd, yeah. Going our own way. Trying to find a new road, yeah We'll be going in circles Trying to find a way Searching for The things we do, yeah Drop top without a choice, yeah Hair blown round to the window Singing stupid noise, or will you? I just wanna get to know ya I wanna go far to the coast, yeah I wanna drive fast to the ocean I wanna know all of you Growing old like a ghost, yeah. I wanna have kids of my own, yeah Live a life till it's over, yeah. When it's too, we too It's sleeping too long